So we got a plug ready to go. Now we're going to prepare the wire. You might need to cut it. You'll use some sort of cutters. I, I, I prefer my strippers off and I will, you know, cut the wire. So this is cheap wire. Sometimes you're going to encounter um, more expensive wire. Oddly enough, more expensive wire is harder to work with. It has more strands. But this particular wire is really easy to work with. We're going to put it on, right? Here's the thing. you got to remember to put the strain relief on before you solder, right? Everybody makes that mistake again and again and again. Whoever you are, if you make that mistake, you can laugh about it. It's going to happen. It, it pays to not have to do it on 24 channels at once on a snake, right? Doing it once is okay. Doing it 24 times is not good. So anyway, pull it down, get it out of the way. The um, chuck uh, clamp, this thing... Um, you can actually slip on after you solder. In fact, I don't even slip it on. I kind of compress it on, get it out of the way. But it can happen before or after if you forget it. Not a big deal. So we want to strip it. So how much do I strip? This much, this much, this much. I do a, about a half an inch, a little bit more than a half an inch. I want a little bit more than a half an inch. But once I cut and I pull it, it actually usually stretches to be slightly larger than a half an inch. So I'm going for a little bit half an inch, a centimeter, about that much. You know, it's about a thumbnail. Yeah. And um, I could just clamp, and I'm going to do this in demo with the largest hole here, which is um, a, a 10 gauge wire. I can clamp and pull, but 10, and I felt it, it actually ripped some of the copper. It, it, it it's, it's cut there, but not there. We don't want that. We want every last copper wire strand in here, especially with this cheap wire, which doesn't have a lot in there. So what I'm gonna do is start fresh. I'm gonna still use the same hole, about a thumbnail, half an inch, almost three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna work, I'm gonna half cut in. I'm compressing down gently and I'm working, I'm spinning it with my other hand and I'm basically cutting through the rubber. And then when I go to clamp and not a full clamp, just a half clamp, and I felt some cutting again. I did feel some cutting. But I got most of it. I got most of it. And then I'm going to separate copper. And you can see there was a couple strands there I cut. I think that's probably success. There are some tools, by the way, that do this instantaneously, that do the pulling and chopping at once. Um, if you did cut like that, you had to be really careful that those wires aren't dangling out there making short circuits so i'm trimming them with my trimmers or i could redo it again but then that would make the video 30 seconds longer and your patience isn't gonna want to watch that so i'm just gonna do this i'm twisting it now i've got some junk here in this case it's cotton sometimes it's paper sometimes it's plastic this uh this is inside the cable it helps it be more flexible and rollable and stuff you don't need that a pair of scissors is a really good tool and i forgot to put them on the table i should have in the very beginning but my cutters can cut, don't cut the wire, can cut the the um, cotton the uh, cotton out of the way. I'm going to get all those little hairs out of the way. So now I've got three little wires, three little wires. If that musical reference, let me know. Um, so I'm ready to go. And I'm going to tin. In the last video or two videos ago, I talked about tinning, how you always put uh, solder on the end of your tip. I'm going to tin... This is kind of a cool trick wrapped around the pan of ice. I'm gonna tin the 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 shield itself. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to heat up the metal and apply solder simultaneously. I'm not gonna do the add solder, add it to the wire. I'm gonna heat up the other way. Maybe you can see better with less stuff in the background. I'll bring it up a little bit. Uh I'm gonna attempt to make this whole thing silvery and soldery and shiny. You know it's a good solder joint when it's shiny. And a lot of students, I will see them add solder and then paint. No, 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 it's not paint, it's solder. You're gonna heat up the whole metal and add solder where it's hot and slowly work down and melt the solder into, and look, I almost, I got both sides in one move. And, and oftentimes that's pretty difficult, but that time it worked great. It's all about heating the metal up and having the solder suck in. You don't want it to look like a big fat hot dog. It, it needs to be kind of thin like that, about the diameter of the wire, and all one giant chunk. It's gonna still too hot to touch, but... Um, and I'm gonna... The other part of this here is the little guys. 
the hot and the cold, and I will explain the cables in a moment, but um, we're gonna wanna strip the rubber jacket or the plastic jacket off these about a millimeter. And uh, I'm not gonna go to the smallest setting. I'll probably chop off the wire. I go back a couple. It's a 22 gauge about, and I'm holding it down. And notice I just stripped. You don't want any more than that. That's even a little too much, perhaps. No, that's about right. I'm gonna twist it. I'll do the other one here, take it off at a right angle. Same thing, look for my 22 gauge on the strippers. And there we go. Spinner, tighten it off. And now these guys, tinning is very simple, very quick. Clean the iron, bring it in, melt the solder right on there. Whoop, one big move, done. Same with the other one, whoop, one big move, done. And now I've got a perfectly ready to go wire. Uh, do note, I started, the, you know, at one point in the video I was talking about it being about a half an inch. This is where it's really kind of it's important. If you bring this in, many students will strip this about that much or one inch or two inch, and it'll make it really long. And the problem with that is, is that once it's attached, this um, clamp clutch is going to, it needs to clamp when it's tightened down by the strain relief it needs to clamp down on rubber. So when you pull the wire, you're pulling on the rubber. If you've made this too big, too long, and it's that big, and once you're all done with the connector and the clamp is clamping down on just these three lines, when you pull on it, you'll just rip the wire right out. So that's really important. Also, a lot of students are afraid of making it too long, so they will make this whole thing about a centimeter long, and then it's really hard to get the wires in there to work with. So you're aiming for about an inch. That's about an inch. Ultimately, after you strip it about half, a, half an inch to three quarters of an inch, everything kind of stretches and it makes about one inch. So that's what we're going for.